with Halloween coming up and bonfire night. Please keep an eye out for little hedgehogs that may be in your gardens, especially if you're going to be lighting bonfires. Always check inside. They see big piles of leaves and, and sticks and think they're little homes and they, they go inside there to think that's going to be nice and cosy for them to hibernate during the winter. And then unfortunately, when the fire is lit, many of them don't make it. So please, if you are having bonfires, check your fires thoroughly uh, in case there's any little hedgehogs in. If you really do have to light the fire and you have checked it, light it by the edge rather than in, in the middle. So there's a bit of a, a chance as the fire moves for the hedgehogs to escape. And another great tip, just think of this, a side plate. That's all you need as a gap between your garden and your neighbour's garden. Because little hedgehogs come in and the first thing they do, they go all the way around the outside. Problem is, of course, we've all got too clinical with our gardens and with our walls and our fences and the like. They can't get through into the neighbours. So the size of a side plate, cut a little hole and the hedgehog should be able to go through. If you want to put hedgehog houses out, they're incredibly great. This is one at the moment. Let me lift it up. Take a look. First of all, uh, you can make them out of old uh, out of old wine boxes and the like, but this one's been specifically designed. You can get this on the Hedgehog Preservation uh, website, British Hedgehog Preservation Society website. But the first thing to do, I'll show you inside. Just take a look at that. Hold on, hold on. There's one still in here. Oh, here we go. Hey, come back here. Oh, you little cutie. Aren't they lovely hedgehogs? Now, hedgehogs have been on this planet for 15 million years. They're one of our longest living mammals. Not this one, this is one of the toys for the kids. Um, uh, and they have little baby hedgehogs. They're called uh, hoglets. And uh, if a group of hedgehogs are around, they call them a prickle. But this hedgehog house, as you can see, it's got a little bit of a gap there. That really to stop the foxes or the cats putting their hands in to get the young. And there's little breathing holes. So if you get yourself a hedgehog house, and situate it underneath a hedge tucked away so it's not in the prevailing wind, um, you stand a pretty good chance of getting little hedgehogs in the garden. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great content like this. And remember to switch on the notifications to be notified of my latest videos.